Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm showing you some of the fastest, but not too expensive cars you can get in Forza Horizon 4. So all of these cars are going to be under a million dollars, and they're but they're going to come with the tune. Um, they are going to be tuned, but don't worry. You don't have to search for three hours and work all your, your hard or er, work all your time just to get tunes. All these tunes, I will put my username right up here, so you can do it. This is also my second account. Um, I actually bought it. It has almost a billion dollars. Every car in the game, um, 50 million super wheel spins and 100 normal wheel spins. If you want to add me as a friend, I might put some cars in the auction house for you guys to go buy. So, for the horizon for it, let's get into it. So, if you want to add me as a friend, break through the stereotype, break through the glass ceiling, break through when your friends and family tell you're nuts. Colorful pizza 2 3. Colorful pizza 2 3. Go ahead and add me as a friend. Give you guys some free stuff. So that's C O L O capital C O L O R F U L capital P I Z Z A twenty three and go ahead and add me as a friend. So uh, yeah, first up we're gonna go. We got nineteen sixty five Hootie Did Ford Hootie Corn. Now the car can you can get it at the auction house for between four hundred and five hundred thousand dollars if you just want to go ahead and buy it 500,000 again I'll leave the tune all you got to do buy the unicorn go to like the tuning crap whatever and search uh, colorful pizza 23 and then it'll come up so let me show you where I'm at the drag strip in the Lego land and without further ado let's get into the video so first up, we got the Hoonicorn. What's my tune? Of course, what other things like Um, so if I go over the tune car, zero to 60 is one second, zero to 100 is three seconds, so the top speed is 253, so it's a good drift car, actually probably the best drift car with the tune. Without the tune, there's some better ones. Um, so let's go ahead and do drag. Drag Here we go. Three, two, one. And yeah, like I said, top speed is pretty fast. Braking is pretty good. I'm just not getting my brakes. Let's do a little drift test. Well, I do have stability control on, it's, but I can still try to drift with stability control on. Okay, I can't try, never mind, I cannot drift with stability control on. Um, but, uh, yeah, car number one, or unicorn, or Mikey, again, just search, um, purple pizza, 23. So, next car, guess what it is. It's the Vulcan. The Austin Martin Vulcan. Now, again, this is with my tune, and this thing is just pure insane. Braking, 10. Launch, 10. Acceleration, 10. Handling, 10. Speed, 10. Again, just buy the Vantage, which is pretty expensive. So, 1500000 I said under a million dollars, so I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't get that one. Don't get that. It's under, I mean, I said under a million dollars. Next, we got the BMW M4 GTS with my tune. It's insanely fast. Um, braking, 9.6. Launch 10, acceleration 10, handling 9, and speed is 7.6. So that's this one. Let's go ahead and do a little test one on this bad boy. Let me play some waiting music. Oh, no, no. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the top speed and everything on this little thing. So, what do I miss? Let us go to the car. 
and let's see, 0 to 60 is, it's not too fast, I just want to say that right now, but it is pretty fast. 0 to 60 is 2 seconds, um, 0 to 100 is about 400, uh, 4 seconds, and then top speed is around 202, but I can get it faster, 202, I can get it to around 210, um, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one, what's this one, this one I can actually drift with traction control, but with traction control off, you cannot drive this car, I'm just saying that right now, so I'm saying if you want to get this car, you should get it and turn stability control on, traction control off, if you have any car with this traction control, you're not even going to be able to do anything. It's literally just driving. <laughs> like, you can't drift. You can't do anything. Um, but, uh, yeah. This works best with just stability control. No traction control or anything. It's pretty good, but I can't do a good full test for you guys. Because, again, it's raining. But let's go third car. Third car is, I forgot what it was. Ah, shit. I'm actually not even doing it. I'm just having, I'm just choosing through the cars that I have and showing you that, like, they're cheap, but they're fast. Um, now, the Hellcat is actually insanely cheap and insanely fast. So, it is only $75,000, and, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then with my tune, it's around, like, 240000 So just buy the car again, go to tuning, and search for, um, colorful Pizza 23. So, let's go ahead and get it. So we got to do all this stuff. Okay, wait a minute. Exactly what I'm saying, Now this bad boy. Oh my god, what was that? This bad boy is a bad boy. <laughs> I that's it. Um it can drift good with stability control on and traction control on. Also if you turn both of those off, it is still pretty easy to drive. So let's say you're getting like one of your first drift cars. I think this would be a perfect thing for you because it's not just a drift car, it's a normal car too. You can drive it on the road pretty easily. You can go around like 70 miles per hour on a normal turn. So if we go to team car, let's see the top speed and everything. So it is not very fast acceleration wise and the top speed is not too fast, but you can get it to around 201 miles per hour, even though it says 196. So zero to 60 is like second and a half, and then zero to 100 is 3.7 seconds. Um, so go. And 100. Um, it's not too bad. Also, if you guys didn't believe me, like I said, I had 50 million super real spins. You can see it in the bottom left corner. I do have super, uh, 50 million super real spins. I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie to you guys. Ah, no more! Oh, money, money, yeah. Okay, also, like I said, I have like 100 normal or something like that. 81, whatever. What? What are you doing? Whoa, 150. Oh, thousand dollars. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there is Next up, we're going to have, um, I don't know what we're going to have, because like I said, I'm just scrolling through cars that I have, and yeah, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the last car, because I'm only doing five of them, so, um, yeah.
The deluxe five window coupe. Now this is slow once you get it, but like I said, use my two colorful pizza two coupe. Add me as a friend. Um, do whatever. And Merry Christmas. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this bad Miami Jam. It is like 1989, and it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and check the thing, and let's see how fast it is. So, <laughs> oh my god, 0 to 60 is 1 second, um, 0 to 100 is 3 seconds, and the top speed is like 240, it says 230, but I can get it around 240, 240. Now let us go, man, and get it on. So three, two. Already at 100 miles per hour. That's so fast. Let's see how long it takes us to get to um 135. Six seconds. That is not bad for a car that was made in the 1990s. So, man, this seems fast. Also, guys, don't leave yet, because I want to show you something. I'm putting a car on the auction house, and you can get it. You want to know what it is? Yep, let's go see with me. So, you cannot get this car anywhere. You cannot get it anywhere except for the auction house. But nobody else has it except for me because, like I said, I bought it. I bought it on... Uh, I bought it on eBay. I bought this on eBay. I have all the Hot Wheel cars. So... Um, let's just show you the one that I'm going to sell. I'm going to put it on the auction house. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how much yet, but you can go to the auction house. It'll be on the auction house as soon as this video is out. Don't you guys want this car so bad? I sure do. And I have it. But, like I said, I'm doing a giveaway. So, if you guys want this car, go to the auction house as soon as this video is up. Forza Horizon 4, again, colorful pizza, 23, so go ahead, go get this, add me as a friend, hope you guys enjoyed this video, goodbye.